Hey guys, welcome back to Chili and Tacoma. This week we are super excited to share our new toy that we just got in the mail today. It's the Starlink. We will be doing an unboxing video, so stay tuned to the end of the video. We go through all the components and what's inside this big blue box. Welcome to Tilly and Tacoma. If you're new here, I'm Kim and this is Evan and we are first time RVers living in a big city. Have you ever considered getting into the RV lifestyle and don't know where to start? Well, you came to the right place because for the past year, we've proven that you don't need several years of experience or even the space to get started RVing. We post content every Sunday to share stories, advice, and tips to help you get on the road and have a few laughs along the way. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment so we can make Tilly and Tacoma the best first time RVer community on YouTube. Let's get this puppy open. Just from holding it, it feels about, I don't know, probably about 10 to 15 pounds. I'm anxious to open the box. We finally bit the bullet and it's a big startup cost, but I think it's gonna pay off in the end because there's no competitors on the market for remote satellite internet. Let's, let's get her open. I'm going to need a knife and we'll try not to chop our hands off. Okay. Yeah, okay. And voila. So it looks like we're immediately greeted with some cardboard. Love that. I did see a lot of videos from Keep Your Daydream, uh, some other YouTubers that say to save the inserts for when you buy your permanent tote that you want to store the Starlink in. So definitely don't discard this. I already know that. So I'm going to definitely save these. Also, I think they used to be styrofoam, so now they're cardboard. So I'm anxious to see if they will hold up like the styrofoam ones do. So it's like we have here is the bottom of the stand. It's pretty heavy and it seems like it is metal. Definitely sounds like metal. And more cardboard. And this looks like what they call the dishy, which is literally the satellite dish. And it feels, if anyone ever was in the, I don't know, like 2000s and 10s where the Wii Fit board, this feels just like a Wii Fit board. Probably don't want to stand on it though. Just want to get in here in the box, see what it looks like. Looks like we got a router, we got some fun, very expensive stickers, and then the cord in the bottom. So let me just set this down. And let's just see. Looks like we got our only instructions that come with the Starlink in classic modern techie format. So it looks like, yeah, looks like you just plug it in, plug in the router to electricity and scan the code. So easy as one, two, three. Let's put that aside. All right, we have the dish. And let me just break out the router. This is the router. Sorry, I wanted that to be very climactic, but this is the router, so it feels like a router. I mean, it definitely feels ultra modern. Has some good weight to it. I don't feel like it would knock over if you set it down, so. All right, that's pretty slim too, especially with the Airstream base camp. I'm not sure where we're going to put it in the base camp. All right, just move this dish out of the way, and gosh, I don't know how we're gonna stretch this into an actual video because this is not many components. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys just a full unboxing of the Starlink satellite. Stickers with cats. I've never, never made any connections between Tesla, SpaceX, or cats, so. Okay, this looks like power. So it looks like your classic three prong AC plug. And then this goes into the back of the router. I do know a lot of, a lot of that we've been following and researching with Starlink is that this is very expensive to replace the cord because I think it's proprietary Cat5 or some type of cord. So I know to be very gentle with this, that even though you're gonna have it outside, is that you're gonna wanna hang on to probably that plastic cap and I think there's even 3D mods of uh, some extra protectors you can put on that. This looks like a lot. I don't know if this is like 75 feet or 50 feet, but this seems like a pretty good distance, which you're gonna wanna want because you're gonna either have to mount it on the ground or you're gonna put it up on a flagpole. So you're definitely gonna need all of this cable. Okay, let me just get this big O box. And again, this is the bottom of the box. So I'm going to save the cardboard so that I can put it in a Husky tote. 
and then we can have a permanent storage solution. Okay, so I just wanted to go over some logistics of getting the Starlink here in the house. Like I said, we've been wanting this for at least the last year. I guess I would just give you some steps that I took before I actually decided to buy the Starlink and what that process looked like in my head. So we joined the Starlink Facebook group like months ago just to like kind of get a feel of like all the different user experiences, the problems and I don't know, I just thought like, oh, maybe I'll just wait until another generation comes out and then we'll buy then. So this is Gen 2 of the dish. So I felt like, oh, well, I think it's it's the right time to buy. And then we buy it. And then I saw in the news uh, yesterday that there's going to be a Gen 3. That's like the mini one. But it just now got approved for production. So who knows how long that's going to take. So I'm still happy we got this one. We had to bite the bullet. We had to have it. We need satellite internet. I know initial thoughts were on the price were very expensive, but Again, what are you gonna do? I think there's one coming up from Amazon, but who knows how long that's gonna be and it's probably gonna be in the same price range anyway. One of the main reasons that we wanted the Starlink is because it provides high-speed internet in remote places. The past three places we went to were fully remote. Even some of the national parks and state parks in Texas were fully remote. So we just figured it would be an investment for if we ever needed connectivity out on the road, which we all know we still like to stay connected, even if it's just for 911 text or anything to check in with your family or friends. Did a lot of research, joined a lot of Facebook groups, monitor the pricing for the last year, and I never noticed the hardware price drops. I know that some of the services with the different packages that you can have with the internet it has increased. It took a long time for me to bite the bullet and purchase the purchase the equipment i went through best buy because i had a best buy gift card so i was able to knock some money off it wasn't available via best buy until a couple months ago i saw it but then it wasn't available in texas to ship so i waited a couple more months and then it was available to ship in the state of texas and i used my gift cards and i was able to get a pretty good deal on it if you're new to starlink and you don't know what it is and it's satellite internet in remote places where you would never have service so it uses satellites that orbit the space thanks to elon musk and thanks to SpaceX. Essentially, you need to buy the hardware and then you also need to subscribe to the actual internet plans that they offer. We are primarily going to be using it for the Airstream and our base camp, so we are going with the Rome package. You have a portable satellite that you can take place to place, but you also need to subscribe to one of their plans. I believe there's three plans. We're gonna go with the Rome plan. The Rome is the one for the RV. Essentially, you can start the service, which is $150 a month, and then you can pause the service when you're not needing it. So that was really attractive to us because we, we don't live in the base camp full time. We just use it for trips. We just wanna have internet when we are on the go. And we will be buying the Harbor Freight flagpole. It's telescopic, it's super portable, and we can just simply attach it to the base camp pretty easily. And then we're gonna be buying a 3D printed mount that attaches to the flagpole that's able to quickly disconnect onto this piece. So it's a like $20 piece off Etsy. We'll be buying that. And then that way we can pop this puppy up and it can connect to the best satellite in the Earth. I hope you enjoyed our super quick video on unboxing the Starlink. It feels like Christmas morning. Like I said, I've been waiting like over a year to get it, but I also feel like it's anticlimactic because it's just gonna sit in the box until we have to use it, which is gonna be a few weeks. So stay tuned to a future video where we will review like the service and how we set it up and how the flagpole connects and all that. That will be coming really soon because I wanna play with the toy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, in Tacoma. We are really aiming for it to be the best YouTube channel on YouTube for first time RVers such as ourselves. We have a lot of new things that are still have happened from last year that we are still putting into production and also new things like today when we got the Starlink. Please subscribe and comment if you have any suggestions on Starlink. We will see you in our next video. Bye!